Hey guys! Hey guys! We're back with another sci-fi review. This time we're reviewing the sci-fi original series, The Expanse, Season 1, Episode 6, titled Rock Bottom. If you haven't seen that episode yet and you want to avoid any spoilers, you're going to want to skip this video and come back later because everything we say from this point forward is going to be a spoiler. Okay, one of the things I love about The Expanse is it strikes this perfect balance between character development, story development, and all-out action. Yeah. And this episode was very much focused on character development. We got tons of it in this episode. Yeah, we did. Um, and also something that he mentioned while we were watching it, it's just really pretty. Yeah. Like, I, they do the space... Um, CG or whatever. It's just done perfectly. It's just so pretty. Yeah. And it looks real. It's pretty yeah. and it looks real. Yeah. I mean, if you look at some of the science fiction over the past 15 years or so, it looks pretty but fake. Yeah. In and the this Expanse, looks it looks pretty but it looks real. Yeah, it looks exactly. like it is shot in space live. Yeah. Which is amazing to, yeah. to look at. Okay, talking about character development, the most notable moment for me in this episode was actually Amos and Alex when they were talking in the bar. Because up until this point, neither character has really been that likable to me. But after this scene, I thought Amos came off as a pretty likable character and Alex very much less so. It was also really nice to see uh, Naomi and Holden have some screen time together. Um, just the two of them interacting without being the whole crew. Um, you know, when they were chatting over shots and like kind of toasting to everybody who died in their escape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little morbid, but you know. It, it seemed to me, I mean, I don't think they really came out and say it, but it seemed to me that she was the reason why the crew all went with him. Yeah. Uh, like, you know, they didn't directly say that she put it together, but I think, I think she did. She was like, no, you can do this on your own. We're all going with you. Yeah. And maybe I'm reading a little bit too much into it, but it definitely seems like there might be some romantic feelings between Holden and Naomi. Which could be really interesting if there is, because Holden is still just wrecked with guilt over the destruction of the Canterbury and the death of, what, her name's Ade, she was the navigator, I think that was how you said her name, Ade. And so j just his conflicted feelings, if there is a romance there, I'm really interested to see that development. Also, Anderson Daw has got a lot of character development in this episode, and he comes across as a way more sympathetic character as he did previously after we got that story about his sister and how her bones were so brittle they were like powder, and how he had to kill her in order to be able to feed his other sisters. Yeah, it was very disturbing, but it, it explains a lot, and it's yeah. a lot of awesome development yeah. for that character. And you could tell he was truly heartbroken over what happened and it made him way more sympathetic and a much more interesting character. Yeah. So after Miller's interrogation with Anderson Dawes where he just gets tased and beaten <laughs> to a bloody pulp, they dump him in the airlock and I fully expected Miller to die in that scene. Yeah, me too. I was like, well, there goes him. <laughs> yeah. I was like, okay, well, he's never going to find Julie Mao. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and when he was rescued, when Octavia came and saved him and killed his two attackers slash, slash executioners, I was like, oh my God, yes! <laughs> Miller's still here. It's, it's like in Game of Thrones when your favorite character is still alive at the end of the episode. You do a little <laughs> celebration. Yay! <laughs> he didn't die. <laughs> and what I really liked is this was the first time Octavius killed somebody, yeah. and she did a fan the actress did a fantastic job displaying that. Like she was just distraught. Like she knew she didn't have a choice. That's why she didn't hesitate, and that's why she did kill them. Yeah. But she is just so like overcome with like how how do you get past this? I just killed some people, yeah. and yeah, I know I had to, but I still killed people. Um, she did a great job. I did find it a little surprising that this is her first time she's ever killed someone. And Miller, he says he's only ever killed, I think, one person. Yeah, it so sounds and, like that to me. And yeah. the fact that the belt is such a rough and tumble, violent place, that the fact that they've only ever killed one person each is a little surprising. But on the other hand, that does kind of show how lazy Miller had become in his job. Yeah. And how uh, Octavia had still managed to hold on to her compassion and innocence for probably a little bit longer than uh, the normal person would. 
Yeah. So Miller uh, goes to Captain Shadi to tell her his theory on what he thinks happened to um, Julie, and she's like, I, I knew, I, I, I just knew something bad was going to happen because she's like looking at the little video thing that he has and uh, like, have you shown this to anybody else? Did you yeah. make any copies? I was like, ah, oh, damn it. She's been bought out. Yeah. What, what surprised me is I told, I was like, oh man, she's asking too many questions. This yeah. is going to be bad. I thought she was going to destroy the disc. But she locked it up. Yeah. So Miller's next move has to be to get that disc back. Yeah, it but has to be. But where does he go from there? He's no longer a member of the police. He's, he no longer has any kind of authority at all. I don't know what kind of other resources he might have. Yeah, I don't know. So he's, I mean, he Octavia still has her job, so maybe he can use her as a resource. But aside from that, I, Miller's kind of up against a wall, and it's going to be fascinating to see where he goes yeah because he's not going to drop this you could just tell yeah. by the look in his eyes that he's like this he's not going to drop this yeah. there is something going on and he's going to figure it yeah. out and anderson dawes calls him out of it he's like you're in love with her and a dude will do some crazy stuff for love <laughs> yeah so just the lengths he will go to i'm really interested to see yeah for me the side story with diogo and uncle mateo fell a little flat but that's just for this one episode. I gotta imagine there's gonna be some repercussions because the Martians, they blew up Uncle Mateo's ship and word of that's gonna get around. So the consequences of that could be pretty big in future episodes. Yeah. It's just for this episode, it felt a little out of place. Yeah, it was just kind of um, this side story that you didn't need to pay attention as much. That's what it felt like. Like you had your story... And then normally the side stories are interesting too, and this one just wasn't really that interesting. The episode concludes with Holden and the rest of his crew. They've convinced Fred Johnson to let them go on their own. They've, they've given him their statements, so he has something to take to the UN if he can ever get there. <laughs> um, but they, they decide they're going to go off and they're going to find the lone survivor of the Scopuli, who Fred Johnson tells them is Lionel Polanski. But you know... They're really only going to find Julie Mao. Yeah, yeah. And they have to. Yeah, Lionel Polanski, I think he's probably dead. I think Julie is probably the lone survivor. And she's going to be the only person they find there. Yeah. I really, really enjoyed this episode. I am dying to know what you guys thought of it. Talk to us down in the comments. Also, if we missed something, if you think we got something wrong or we left out something, let us know. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to tell us by clicking that like button and subscribe for more reviews. And thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.